This conference will now be recorded. So we all know what is the use of ABAP. So it's, uh, the, it's the only coding language for SAP, which we are already aware of. Uh, so the users of SAP ABAP is like, you know, either we develop new things or we develop the functionality, uh, add the functionalities. Add the functionalities in the sense, we'll have this en enhancements concept will come into picture. So to develop new applications, uh, we'll be using all the, all the different topics that we have learned. So we all know this. Uh, this is about the basic ABAP actually. So I'm coming from uh, the 1972 when SAP was started. So they used IBM mainframes, then they used BAP, then ABAP, then the ABAP, ABAP by four. So business application programming language, and then the advanced version is ABAP. So these are the topics that we have, reports, interfaces, cross application enhancement, forms, and workflow. So these are the topics. Okay, now starting with the HANA ABAP. HANA, HANA ABAP is what exactly is the difference between normal ABAP that we are doing and what is a HANA ABAP, the difference, basic differences. We need to focus on only the differences because uh, whatever topics you have learned in ABAP will very much be there in uh, HANA ABAP also. So there are certain things that are completely removed and there are certain things that have been added new. So those things are what we have to discuss. So HANA database was first introduced as the sidecar method. Sidecar method in the side by side. Even, even though our ECC server is working on some Oracle database or uh, MySQL database, uh, they introduced a HANA database uh, adjacent to that on which they have introduced only HANA Studio upon it. And HANA Studio is something which was equivalent or similar to PW. But here we have this uh, ABAP on uh, so ABAP on HANA. So ABAP on HANA uh, was introduced uh, later at, in the service pack 06. So we have uh, service packs in HANA database. So from the service pack, HANA database service pack 06, they have uh, optimized ABAP on SAP HANA as a primary database. So in, in SP05, that uh, service pack 05 also, Dev, I mean, like web can run on SAP HANA is what we discussed. SAP Netweaver, BW, and HANA. But uh, this was a more, I mean, like not many features were introduced at the time. But then, in a lot of features were introduced when we have this uh, service pack 06 was released, and uh, the Netweaver uh, version of it was Netweaver 7.40. So as an ABAP programmer, uh, from the HANA perspective, what are the advantages of uh, we as a developer? So it will accelerate, means reduce uh, time of uh, background jobs, extend, reach more users, turn and turn background uh, jobs into interactive applications, innovate new processes and applications. So what is accelerate? So by optimizing the coding of long running background jobs for SAP HANA, the runtime for these jobs can be reduced. So the runtime for ABAP programs have been reduced a lot and uh, more jobs can be ex executed in the same time and particularly costly tasks are pro possible in one go rather than splitting them up. Like for example, like uh, if there is a, there is a load which normally uploads some one one million records uh, every day, so it, it it would it would have been spread into ten sessions in which each session will have one uh, you know uh, each session will have one lakh views. This is what we can have extend. So in the past, some reports had to be executed in the background simply because their runtime was too long for dialog processing. So consequently. Users worked on snapshots of pre-aggregated uh, data sets. So extend. So we, we can extend the programs as well. So now by optimizing these reports with SAP HANA, they can be offered as an online reports again. So displaying real-time data with full drill down capability and all. So the these reports. So whatever background jobs used to run, background reports used to run, 
So we used to keep the reports in the background because it would take a lot of time. But here, right now, we can put it as a real-time report. We can run it directly instead of putting them in background job because the performance of uh, HANA and the speed of HANA is very, very high. So innovate. With SAP HANA's analysis and calculation capabilities, ABAP developers can design new applications that would not have been possible in the past. So optimizing ABAP applications running on SAP HANA. So ABAP development guidelines. So we have these are the big ABAP development guidelines. Improved tools for performance analysis. Extensions to ABAP language. Creating and consuming SAP HANA with ABAP. Reuse components optimized for SAP HANA. These are the transparent optimizations we have. So starting with release 7.4, ABAP provides support for optimizing ABAP uh, applications running on SAP HANA. There are transparent optimizations you do not see as an uh, application developer. So these are the main pillars of ABAP and HANA. So uh, we'll discuss this uh, more clearly. So improved tools for performance analysis. So for performance analysis, how do we in, in, how do we improve the performance of a report and all? These are there are there are improved uh, you know tools for that extension of ABAP language so there is an extension of ABAP language so there are some codes which we have to learn new creating and consuming SAP HANA content with ABAP SAP reuse components optimized for SAP HANA and transparent optimizations these are the things we have. so starting with release 1.4 ABAP provides support for optimizing ABAP applications running on SAP HANA Okay, so they are transparent optimizations. You do not see an application developer, but which you benefit from because they happen happen under the hood. So, for example, like let's say there is an uh, there is a car. For that car, the engine is been made more smoother. So, if the engine is made more smoother, you cannot as a driver you cannot go and see that how the, how it was made smoother and what is how the engine works in that time. So, you cannot you cannot open the engine and see, but you can feel it when you are driving it because you you the smoothness with which the you know, car gets handled and all these things so it will be e easy so an example is the select for all entry statement in open open scale the implementation of which has been improved so select for all entries um, used to always be a performance issue now it will it will be fine Now storage type of ABAP tables can be set with the uh, SAP NetWeaver ABAP 7.4. So use ABAP dictionary, technical settings, database specific properties, default and SAP HANA column store. So an example of an ABAP dictionary extension is a uh, ABAP 7.4. Is the ability to control which store a table, which store a table of the ABAP system should live live in. So a new tab has been added to the maintain technical settings from form in the database tables, which I'll show you anyways. The new tab is uh, is called this database specific properties and allows for switching between the following three capabilities. So we have this. Um, I'll show you this, this one. Like you know, when uh, when uh, this is one example. Okay. So database table, when you are creating a database table in normal uh, normal server, normal ABAP server, so it will be, it will not be showing you the option there in the technical settings, but when you go for HANA, HANA's database, it will it will ask you for that, whether you want to go for a column based table or row based table. Okay, so I'll show you that in, in this session only I'll show you that storage type uh, row store creates the database table in the ABAP HANA row store or moves it there. So this setting can be changed between after the table has been created and the table will be moved into the other store. So use this the, with caution. So however, 
since it may involve recognizing table contents should such yeah we'll see so if you see a very simple important topic that we have to remember here is that in in normal uh, conventional ABAP program where we have database uh, non SAP non HANA database there the emphasis was more given on the application layer if you uh, if you observe when we are discussing our data architecture we always said that you know uh, you know what is a dispatcher does is dispatcher does uh, uh, i mean like uh, has a work processes and work process will will contact the database only when it is required so what we are doing is we are trying to process maximum number of code maximum amount of code at the application layer layer level but in the hana database the more focus is on giving load to the database layer and reducing the load on the application layer so they have significant significantly reduced the load on the application layer they have increased the load in the database layer this is what uh, will happen in the uh, new programming approach so the arrival of in-memory technology on the database layer also requires a change in the way we design and implement application so the basic approach of uh, classic ABAP programming was as follows so keep the load from the database get all the data you need on the application server do your processing in ABAP these are the things that we have in basic approach of classical programming ABAP program. so we always used to do this keep the load from the database so we always used to keep the load away from the database right uh, and get all the data you need onto the application layer so we used to use open sql statements what the open sql statements will do it will it will first check if the data is there in the application layer only then it will go to the database layer but here and do your processing in the ABAP. so all the processing will, so first go get the data store it in the internal table and that, get the data from internal table that was the logic in normal ABAP program but in order to benefit the most of the SAP HANA's capabilities, it is better to do expensive calculations and aggregations on the database itself. So, all major, you know, uh, load, all the major load is shifted now to database layer, rather than transferring huge amounts of data onto the application, the application server. This is a fundamental change to the ABAP programming paradigm. So, it is very often referred to as code to data, as opposed to the classical data to code. This is called code, code to data instead of data to code so bottom-up approach for code to data one way of approaching the code to data paradigm is to use native sql statements to access sap hana specific functionality like built-in functions so encoding all computations in native sql statement has a drawback so however in that you have to get the sql statements right for example the join conditions the built-in functions and so on have to be recoded so the for native SQL statements it will be slightly different so in addition encoding everything in native SQL statements makes reusing parts of the computation difficult so bottom-up approach with the direct access to sap hana artifacts is what we have to do so bottom-up approach okay let me show you in the diagrammatically what we have discussed see uh, we have sap hana now we have instead of going for this uh, you know uh, open SQL statements we go for native SQL statements and the native SQL statement will fetch the SAP HANA view here also we have consumed using the native SQL statement so we have stored procedures so uh, you know HANA views and stored procedures will 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 get that consume SQL uh, native SQL statements so we have delivery so standard ABAP transports is what we will use for removing it from development to quality quality production anyways that's common so what are we trying to do here is we are trying to fetch the data from hana views and stored procedures what are this hana views and stored procedures we are going to see in the coming sessions so an alternative approach makes us of the fact that sap hana provides advanced view modeling capabilities through sap hana column views so modeling such as such views leads to more reusable results and requires less programming if the computations are too complex to be modeled using sap hana views using database procedures implemented in sap hana sql script and another alternative so we'll discuss that 
so these options uh, what are the, these options that we have and how it will be working all this i will do it live on the system so bo both options can be interpreted as bottom-up approaches only because you first model and respectively implement the artifacts in the ABAP layer then call the existing artifact in uh, ABAP. So in ABAP release below ABAP 7.4 or in scenarios with SAP HANA as a secondary database, such, such calls always require using native SQL statements. I'll explain you this on the system. This is a bottom-up approach with proxy, proxy objects. So we are processing everything in the HANA database, but we are just uh, fetching them in from the uh, application layer in the application server in the ABAP. So we have we have uh, HANA views have been implemented at the database level level only and we are just fetching it from the external views. Stored procedures are developed in the SAP HANA only and those will be accessed as a database procedures proxy. And delivery unit we have the SAP HANA container. So this is top down approach for code to data. So we have uh, all these serious views and uh, about managed procedures will get in touch with SAP HANA views and storage. This is code to data capabilities as of uh, ABAP 7.4. So we'll have ABAP managed database procedures, which we need to understand HANA, data, HANA managed ABAP managed database procedures database object oriented database oriented or programming model transparent optimizations these are things that we have so ABAP managed so hana specific features are ABAP managed uh, procedures those are called amdps popularly and database oriented object model so better sql 92 standard support in open sql external view definition and transparent optimizations so we have fast data access optimized to select for all entries table buffer enhancements and new SQL put parser. So these things we'll see in detail. So those things you will see in detail. So performance improvement versus the code adjustment. So performance wise, it has been increased a lot. You know, there's, there's a huge growth in that performance. And we have this transparent optimizations at once. So I'll discuss more about this in detail, but uh, let me show you uh, these things on the system. This is an MS SQL state, MS SQL uh, database. So let me show you this in the SC11. Okay, so here in technical settings. If you see the in technical settings here, mm -hmm. 
column store rows they are undefined so basically these things will appear only when you are uh, this might be a gui setting but uh, in the in the previous old version of uh, sap uh, like uh, basically this is in ehp 7 so but if you see the hana database th those options which we have column based row storage which will not be there in the old version actually even in ms sql it's showing up actually it will not be there maybe sometime later i'll just show you otherwise we can check any of the old databases so So here we'll have database specific properties. In the database specific properties, we have column store, row store, and undefined. Column store, row store, and undefined. So either we can go for column store or we can go for row store or we can go for undefined. So these are the options that we have there. So what is column store? What is row store? What is the advantage of column store? What is the advantage of row store? These things we are going to discuss in the coming sessions. So this is one thing that we have, uh, which uh, will be different from our uh, program. <clears throat> Next, we discuss something which I want to show you here. Yeah, this one button. So in this we have native SQL and native SQL and native SQL. So here open SQL and native SQL two statements will be there. Native SQL statements something which will directly go and hit the database. So as I discussed earlier, I guess I, I guess I'm not sure that I discussed it, but uh, remember that SQL language is different. SQL language is completely different. But in within ABAP proximity, we have a native SQL statements and open SQL statements. So these are statements. So within ABAP only, we call them as native SQL and open SQL statements. It has nothing to do with the SQL language. There is something called completely SQL language. So I'm telling it very, very, uh, I'm stressing on that topic because we are going to uh, discuss native SQL, uh, uh, we are going to discuss SQL commands as well, SQL language. Okay, that SQL language will have nothing to do with ABAP. So those language codings, we are going to do a bit of, uh, you know, SQL coding in the, in the coming uh, sessions. Okay, so that we have is open SQL. Uh, so open SQL will first go to the database interface. It will try to hit and uh, check the data in the local buffers and all these things will do. that's another thing that i want to show you so database native sql statements will do will give will put more load on the database so which is actually suggested for the uh, you know hana database hana ABAP. for hana ABAP, it's better we focus more on the on the database
Now, using HANA database specific features is improved by introducing a new concept called ABAP managed database procedures. ABAP managed database procedures is one of the most important topic in HANA. ABAP. So, a database uh, oriented programming model is supported uh, is supported better through the following. So, an advanced open SQL supporting more of the SQL 92 standards. New capabilities for defining views such as common set of domain specific languages and services for defining and consuming semantically rich data models called core data services, CDS use, CDS, so core data services. So there are two terms which we need to be, which we'll be discussing the ABAP managed uh, database procedures and core data services. So transparent optimizations are improvements in the ABAP stack itself. So your code directly benefits from this without any adjustments. So the following are the examples of transparent optimization. So fast data access, a new data exchange protocol between the ABAP stack and the database. So we have uh, optimizations of select, uh, select into the internal table and select single. And there are optimizations for select for all entries as well. So these things we can just understand, but we cannot see it directly because if the performance of a car is improved, how can you show that? You can feel that in the driving, but you cannot open the engine and see. So the performance is increased based mainly because of the HANA database, but you can observe it, but you cannot uh, see it directly in the HANA database. So ABAP evolution is what we discussed and code to data concept. So code to data concept in the sense like we are directly pushing the code into the database and determine if uh, HANA database, HANA's uh, row or store, column storage is used for ABAP transparent tables and which indices are used on HANA. So uh, this you know, uh, row storage and column storage, I'm going to tell you first what is row storage and column storage, then we will move on to ABAP transparent tables. I mean, like, then we'll move on to the indices concept. What are the indices? Okay, so let's start with the uh, HANA database. Uh, HANA procedures. Let's start with uh, one simple hands-on. So let's say we need to create a package. So 1909 is there here. So I'm using 1909. 1909 is the latest one. Okay, so how do we find out when this was launched? If let's say 1909 is there, it was launched in 19, 2019 year and uh, uh, the month in which it was introduced was 09. 09 in the sense like it was something like uh, September. 1909 was in the year 2018 and 09. Then this package is a JH underscore back is a JH underscore back on Hana. Hana, just say Hana, we'll give you Okay, is it JH underscore Hana? Yes. Hana database. Create. Mm -hmm. 
zh underscore hana. So zh underscore hana is the one we have. So we created this package. Now let's move on to SAP HANA Studio. Now we will be working on the GUI based, uh, you know, graphic SAP GUI based uh, app app. In that also we'll log in and to the HANA app we can log in from the HANA Studio as well. So certain things can be done only in HANA Studio. Certain things can be done only in the, uh, in the normal, uh, uh, normal programming uh, which we have ECC with the normal login. So we will we, hit the same server, but we'll have two different logons. So either you can log in from the SAP logon pad or you can log in from the HANA studio. So there are certain things that can be done only in the SAP HANA logon and certain things can be done only from the studio. Windows perspective, open perspectives and then other. So here we'll go for the ABAP perspective. Remember, if you if you want to become uh, you know expert in Ab HANA ABAP, we should also be knowing the HANA's, HANA uh, development as well. So there will be some HANA views that we have to create from the HANA development perspective. So that's uh, that's a HANA, pure HANA development uh, logic that we have to do it. We'll, we'll, we'll discuss that one also. So we have ABAP. So now we need to go for this uh, ABAP project. The moment you, you select ABAP project, it will ask you to which server you want to log in. Okay, so we have done the package in the S4 HANA 1909, right? So let's select that first. First and foremost, we need to set the server. And next, I need to know the logon details. Eight hundred. Same details which we use for logging in in com in general. The same thing we have to use it here as well. Now, when you open it, we'll have all these things: so local object packages and all these favorites. So we have best local objects and then we have this SAP library so here you can see the packages so if you see there are uh, 34 lakhs 95,000 library objects that we have here So you can see here that we have, if you observe here, we have this SZJH underscore HANA. So if you see this, there are zero objects here. So whatever package that we created there uh, in the normal GUI logon, it is visible here. So what I'm trying to tell you is that uh, they're, they're linked, they're connected to each other.
Oops, enter. Okay. So this is a package that we have. Click on the package. New. Other updates. So these are all the options, the options that we'll have here. So now let me show you. So these are the things that we can develop under the package. So in this, like the BOP, PF business objects platform is something which we have.
okay so sorry i was in mute actually so i was explaining i was uh, i was telling you about all these things look i'll repeat what i said like so basically we have all these options this is the top result so we have this uh, we have these all the options so we have this bopf uh, enhancement and then we have the authorizations and so i'm i'm taking you through all the options that we have bsp library so we'll we'll discuss about all these things uh, one after the other whenever that uh, time uh, you know whenever it, there is a need of it certain things uh, is what we are going to discuss so code composer connectivity the app message and we can connect with the http service directly we have code data services so we have this uh, source code library so in the source code library we have all this class function group module function module and all this we have this test objects and these are the other other options that we have here so let's go for a web program so we'll give the program name as something Start with Jadar Vai, right? Okay. So then we have to go ahead with these are the request numbers. We can create our own request, create new request we can do. But I think we already created a request now. Just recently we have created. What was that? basically in the real time will not have this much uh, issue because it will show up only our request numbers right because here all of us are logging it with the same request number so it's showing up uh, uh, too many request numbers okay create new request Okay, so here we can write. Simple. Testing SAP HANA environment. Testing SAP HANA environment. Then I have to click. Say so save. This is a syntax check. No, no syntactical errors. Then this is the button for activate. is activated so only when we have this eclipse uh, we'll be able to access it like this so the same program can also be seen from uh, the normal gui sap gui as well okay this is done we'll have this process so the way we can execute this from the sap this logon pad as well now i see 38 we can see that said jh it's a jh subject test program so this is the one we have we can execute from here so it's a testing environment so whatever we have done done that program we can see it from this uh, normal gui as well but there are certain things which will work only in the hana studio certain things will not work here so those things we'll see in the coming sessions so 
yeah from here how do we process it more and how do we take it forward uh, we'll discuss the other things in the coming tomorrow session